So from day one, Game Grumps never really started as two friends start a Let's Play channel, and more so, one popular guy needs to start a Let's Play channel, and so enlists the help of another popular guy for a bigger audience. There isn't anything wrong with that, just wanted to point it out. John ended up leaving Game Grumps in 2013 to work on his own content. However, there is a theory that John got sick of recording Let's Plays every day, and it shows in some videos. Now, I say theory because it's heavily implied that John, and presumably everyone who works slash worked at the Game Grumps office, are under contract not to disclose this information. Shortly after his departure, John was replaced with Dan Avedan, who makes comedic music videos with his friend Brian Weck. I don't want to go more into the replacement, however, it is odd that John was replaced so quickly, as if they were planning for John to leave even before that. Hey, Aaron. I just want you to know that I plan on leaving the game Grumps. That's cool. I'll find someone to replace you. Thank you for being a real friend, John. So even from the start, Aaron always treated Game Grumps as a business. And what do you do with a business? Expand! Game Grumps is no longer just a YouTube channel. It's a brand. T-shirts, mugs, shitty blind boxes, stickers. You can now pay money to watch them play video games on a stage. This is how far Let's Plays have come. They've even started funding video games such as Dream Daddy and... Oh, that's it. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy... Aaron is fully aware that Let's Plays are nowhere near as popular as they were in 2012, and like any businessman is attempting any extension strategy he can to milk Game Grumps for all it's worth. Strategies such as rebranding, adding extra products like 10 minute par R. Real quick side note, why is it called a par R if it's only 10 minutes? and searching for new markets without changing the actual product, like advertising their streams as games to relax slash study to, even though literally any one of their videos can be used for those reasons. I think it's pretty obvious that Game Grumps, the main series that is, is on its last legs with a dwindling viewership, which I think is entirely down to oversaturation. They used to upload three times a day, and big surprise, not everyone wants to watch 30 minutes of Aaron screaming like a child every 24 hours. Now in terms of production quality, the show is still very well edited. The odd sinking hiccup here and there, but for the most part, it's still good. But the more and more I watch Game Grumps, the more and more I realise something. Aaron Hansen isn't funny. At all. And I don't know if he ever was. Aaron and John worked well with each other because they both acted like assholes and weren't afraid to put the other person in their place. Dan, on the other hand, comes off like he's afraid to tell Aaron when he's wrong about something, and blindly accepts anything Aaron says. And that's not me assuming this, even their friend Ross has acknowledged this in a video. And Dan was assured, assured himself that I was not in that episode. <laughs> he goes, we played it with, uh, I played it with, uh, Kevin. And Ross. And you were like, Ross wasn't there? And he's like, oh, I guess Ross wasn't there. He's like, so eat quickly to agree with you. This guy's my boss. So now instead of the show being two assholes play video games together and tell jokes, it's turned into one asshole playing a game and the other worrying about his job. During which the asshole misses key parts of the game, then continues to yell and blame the game for his lack of paying attention, as his yes man sits beside him and agrees with everything he says. Sure sounds funny. Side note, is Aaron bad at playing video games, or does he fake it for jokes? You decide. What are you doing? Uh, no, Aaron. Not, what are you doing today? This is not the time. Are I you going on an adventure? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great, because I want to go on a Buckle Sniffer adventure with you, my friend Dan. Come on! <laughs> I, I love you. I mean, uh, I, I love this mission. Rouge, are you in the, are you in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Do you mind if I stand by the door? <laughs> I'm just going to sniff you. <laughs> I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> when is that ever okay? <laughs> Friend Aaron, I 
I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just- Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh. Uh, well, I am not doing that. Oh my God! Whoa! Well, did, oh God! I, oh, it's going back to Monica. Does it, does it automatically? Every time, ah! it's going back to Monica. <laughs> uh, ah! Oh boy! I picked Yuri. Oh boy! Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Monica then. Yeah, Perhaps sure. Monica. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah, you, Salvador, you sick son of a bitch! You picked me. <laughs> likes to hide behind his childish behavior by saying it's all part of his character, which I don't think is entirely true. I don't think Aaron is playing a character, but I do think he's playing an exaggerated version of himself. Like it or not, Aaron's rabid fan base will believe anything he says, so when he complains about a game, his fans will treat what he says as a fact, even if what he's saying isn't true. Aaron defends all the shitty spews out of his mouth by claiming he only does it for the sake of comedy. It should be clear to anyone that when Aaron rages and screams at a game, he's faking a reaction. I'm going to quickly compare Game Grumps to another very similar Let's Play channel, Oni Plays. Oni Plays was created by an old friend of Aaron's, Chris O'Neill, and he manages to do what Aaron could never accomplish, be funny. The hosts constantly work off each other, hitting the viewer with joke after joke after joke and are completely aware that they're just stupid Let's Players, frequently mocking the audience for even watching them. What? Retard alert class! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to uh, the new the new show called uh, Slightly Artistic with uh, with Jeffy B, everyone's favorite. Why do you gotta why do you gotta start with that? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Okay. Nice. So let's see. So these guys are just massacring people. Yeah, it's Caesar's Legion. That's probably the thing that you were getting crap for. About missing out a town of people getting slaughtered. Chris, how did you walk by a fucking massacre? I'm fucking stupid, don't you Go. see? When you cream, do you scream? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah! <laughs> ah! What was that? <laughs> oh, I've creamed. I've splooged. I've Sp sputtered. Sp <laughs> I've, scr I've scrizzled. Like after John left, the focus went from telling jokes to telling life stories. But unsurprisingly, after doing it for so long, you eventually run out of stories to tell. So they have to resort to saying stuff like, Hey Aaron, you ever seen this Family Guy episode? No. Well, instead of actually telling a joke myself, I'll describe it for you. But I was like, I want a PlayStation game. And then the guy was like, <laughs> Well, uh, Ray Rayman is the new game. And I was like, <laughs> the new game. And, He's and pretty fucking awesome. It was Extra Vision. And then, yeah, and he, I was like, What is Rayman? He was like, <laughs> I, I'll Why are you a little demon child? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I I'll show you Rayman. And he put on Rayman. And he's like, See, you, you go here and you talk to this woman. And she's like the fairy of the forest. And I was like, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I bought it. And then, and then, and then months later, <laughs> I played it and I hated it. 
You know, that reminds me of another one that I love, where a lady's talking to a seal, or a sea lion. Yeah. And he's just like making really retarded faces at her. Oh, and, I like the one and, with and the seal. Whoosh, and then she goes, speak, and he goes, <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face, he's going, ah! Speak. <laughs> <laughs> There are still many people who consider the time John was on the show as the golden era, and would like to see him make a guest appearance for an episode or two. I wonder how Aaron and Dan feel about that. I'm just wondering if you guys ever thought of like, uh, doing a sweet joint video of you two guys along with, let's say, somebody named John Jafari, otherwise known as John Whether or not it's going to happen, I can't. So, because John said some questionable stuff on a live stream which he has since apologized for many times and clarifies he doesn't actually think that stuff, you won't let him on your show where you play games and tell dick jokes. Bravo Aaron and Dan, we don't need John ruining the artistic integrity of the Game Grumps. Oh, but what's this? Can you, can you reach into my pocket, please? I'm still trying to think of the most racist thing I've ever said, I've ever done. I, I, there's gotta be something. Okay. Um, we Dude, were- you dropped someone off who was black, you had to say, like, nigger, like, 30 times. Oh, yeah. You had to get out of your system. <laughs> I remember when people got in an uproar about what John said, but I don't remember too many people remembering these wonderful quotes. Keeping in mind this subtle racism extended to Susie's Twitter, where she said, I'm sorry, but I've had nothing but bad situations with black people all week. Is it just the culture? Now, I don't want to be one of those tinfoil hat wearing conspiracists. But take that off. But if Aaron is anything like how the stories I've heard describe him, then it doesn't surprise me how many people have joined and left Game Grumps. Like how supposedly after two of the hosts, Ding Dong and Julian, from OniPlay said that the game they were funding was pandering, which... which it was. Aaron bumped up their office rent, basically forcing them to move out. Hi, this is Laura Turner, and today I'm going to tell you about how to cite sources in a research paper. I completely buy that Aaron is a malicious cunt. Aaron's eating a pizza right Aaron Hansen, what are you doing? What are you doing, son? Aaron, get in here. Eating a pizza. Aaron, Chewing. get in here. We're bringing in special guest Ego Raptor. What's what the up? hell are you talking about? What kind of pizza did you just eat? Cheese. No pepperoni? No pepperoni. Just cheese? Uh -huh. Did you have some buffalo wings? No. What the oh, fuck? What buffalo oh, wings? Jesus Christ, Aaron! <laughs> All right. Special guest, uh, Ego Raptor Jones. That was him. You guys don't seem as jubilant as the, uh, Mario Party series. <laughs> well, uh, the thing is, there's really no coming back from this, I think. But Aaron, uh, you have 31 Oh, cool, we're in jail. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are in jail. If you, if you pay That's 50 really bucks, nice. you can get out. Well, that, that would be great. <laughs> that would be great. Huh. <laughs> just be a little rotten shit. <laughs> Uh, a couple little spoiled apples over here. <laughs> <laughs> no! What the fuck?! Luckily, you're about to get Aaron, 20. Calm down. Yeah, I'm about to get 20 coins. Is so Aaron really actually know. mad? <laughs> <laughs> Are Matt and Ryan actually scared of Aaron? They, they should get out of the office. That sounds like an abusive environment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you're scaring me, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, be serious. I'm playing a fucking game here. Sorry, boss. See, they flew too close to the sun with the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows this is all a ruse, and I actually have a lot of love and respect for you, regardless of the outcome. No, Aaron's actually mad, and he's gonna fire me now. Yeah, it's true. But post that on the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was fired shortly after winning the Monopoly. Right? Okay, I can't. That's the event. That's the, that's the thing. In a, in, a, in, a, in a tweet, Aaron said the events were unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> what was? called the Monopoly event. <laughs> <laughs>
Shortly after recording a let's play of Monopoly with Matt and Ryan from the YouTube channel Super Mega, things went awry. Not too long ago, a fan made a goddamn it Ross style joke and Aaron flipped his shit, despite the fact that he has slapped that joke on a t-shirt and profited from it. Even after the fan donated to them with an apology and Ross forgave them, he wasn't having it and said, It's just some rando on the internet. Beauty Lover 8403 says, Aaron, I hope you weren't really mad about my Ross not being cool tweet. I was just joking in homage to the old days of Dammit Ross, but I got hate from people when you responded. Love you guys. I discovered that people make compilations of Game Grumps, and I didn't know that, and I found out some guy had made a compilation of all the times YouTube shit talk me on Game Grumps. <laughs> It's an hour and a half long. <laughs> it's just some rando on the internet. It's like we we have to take rude. Aaron. We have to take responsibility for creating a meme uh, th that was giving you shit, Ross. And we are sorry. <laughs> Irene Hansen is a KKK grand wizard that traffics children and believes in Sharia law. Please, listen to me for I am stating facts. Okay, so before we begin, I think I need to acknowledge that this is the last time I'm going to be making a commentary video, mostly because I really don't enjoy making them anymore, because I don't really care about drama and the sorts all that much. The only reason I'm making this one is because it's about a topic I'm really passionate about. And lastly, yes, in my last video about Game Grumps I was really needlessly aggressive when I didn't need to. And while I did it for the reason of giving myself an exaggerated persona, it really didn't work well in the video where I tried to make serious points at the same time as jokish insults. So for that, I apologise. <laughs> with that being said, I still agree with the points I made in that video, and I'll try to be as objective as possible this time. Although that won't always be the case for certain points. What? I still agree with the points I made in that video. Oh. Make sure this here knocking your high fidelity. G. I wonder why I have so many dislikes on my video as well as a lot of polarizing comments. Maybe it's because my video was filled with holes, had plenty of exaggerations, and made me look like I had a personal hatred for Aaron Hansen for absolutely no reason. Nah, it's just a bunch of stupid Game Grumps fanboys. I mentioned in my previous video how with Let's Plays becoming less and less popular, Aaron has been trying many different strategies to extend the channel's life cycle. At the point of that video coming out, it was only really smaller signs of this, but since then the channel has completely changed in how they do things. First of all, they're really trying their best to make their videos not look like Let's Plays, by removing the word Game Grumps from anything that isn't a best of series. Now giving videos much shorter, more vague titles like 30 Not So Great Games, B Movie, The Game, the YouTube video, and Vomit, the Wii game. Why Wii? This is because the average YouTube goer who doesn't know of the Game Grumps won't feel alienated because they don't know of the channel or the Grumps, and will be much more likely to click on something vague and random. It's almost like a trick. No, it's not. Furthermore, in terms of marketing, they focus a lot less on multiple parted series now and would much rather play some random shovel war game for the Wii so they can have a clickbaity title and will, in theory, make for a funnier video. Because Game Grumps humor nowadays completely relies on just making fun of what's happening on screen. Oh god! <laughs> My leg! <laughs> Look at her leg. Oh, they're gonna die! Rather than, you know, making jokes themselves. A few moments later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he is Nightkin. <laughs> Anyway. 
anyways. As a result of only making one-offs to try and make their content more accessible to random people just looking for a quick video to watch then get on with their day, this has angered their core fan base who subscribed for the Grumps Let's Plays where they actually play a game for more than 15 minutes before moving on to the next piece of trash. In one way, I do get where they're coming from, but in another way, it just goes to show that Aaron is much more focused on the business aspect of Game Grumps rather than the stuff that his true fans want him to make more of. <laughs> I think in the future, Aaron should put more care in trying to have a mix between random one-offs and full playthroughs to appease their fans. They used to have an easier job at pulling this off because they had more than one gameplay series with other people, but it seems that everyone besides Aaron and Dan have left Game Grumps for one reason or another. I wonder why. Enter the Franklin and Jimmy series. Any time before when Aaron has uploaded videos only featuring himself, they were extremely boring, although sometimes interesting videos with little to no comedy. So when Aaron had to make some content recently without Dan, he decided to put on a silly voice and ramble for 15 minutes. But I will do, I will play a game on the computer for, for my uh, relative Aaron, because I believe in him and I believe in what he is doing. I think he puts a positive message in, into, his, into his, uh, his entertainment. Rinse and repeat for eight videos. These series were quickly panned by the fans, garnering a much greater amount of dislikes compared to their other videos. I think it's safe to say that if Dan ever left Game Grumps, then the channel would be as good as dead. <laughs> In conclusion, the point of all this is to show that Game Grumps is going on a sharp decline and shows no signs of stopping. They keep trying to extend their lifespan, which in and of itself isn't a bad thing, but as a result distances themselves more and more with their original identity, and ends up pissing off their true fans even more than they already have. And it seems like Aaron is trying to milk all he can out of this before it finally goes under. And to all the people who I'm sure will comment again saying that I'm just jealous, or that I'm complaining about nothing, or that I'm just looking for attention. Well, first of all, you watched this far, so if you think that, why give me said attention? But come back to this video in a year, and you can prove me wrong. If the Game Grumps channel is still alive and well making the same kind of content a year from now, then I implore you to dislike this video all you want, and comment that I'm just some pathetic retard saying shit that's never gonna happen. <laughs> is really fucking pointless. This is it, Johnny. Your bold journey begins today. The life you once knew is now gone. Now you're truly on your own. No! Strange mailbox! I want to go home!